Good morning, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. Uh, I thought I would just drop by and say hi. <laughs> I've been kind of debating within myself about making a video. It's been a couple of days and I just want to stop by and just say hope you're all doing well. Here in West Michigan, it is November the 7th. 2020 it is 1003 in the morning and uh, here in West Michigan it's been really beautiful weather the last oh last week I was looking at my uh, online diary crooked fingers from last year and we had snow and it was we were it was snowing it was cold it was gray and it's been like an Indian summer here in West Michigan, and it's uh, really nice. I like those t those t uh, those years when snow comes late <laughs> here in West Michigan, especially along the lake shore. It we get a lot of snow, and it's, sometimes it some years it starts in November and doesn't stop until really March. It doesn't really get warm here until June. So it's been kind of nice, the warm weather. It's going to be like 70 degrees today. And uh, it's sunny. My wife and I, yesterday, we went up to Grand Haven. We stopped at thrift stores, got used books. Stopped at a park along the lake, Kurt Park. and walked out to the lake and I took some photos of the lake and so anyway I just want to stop by and say hi hope you're all doing well I know here in America everybody's on wondering who's going to be our next world leader <laughs> our next president at this point in the whole thing I'm just kind of exhausted and just want it to be over with to me, it could go either way. Biden could win or Trump could win. and It all depends on who decides. So anyway, uh, this morning I'm uh, writing in my diary like I do. I'm always writing morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, I was thinking uh, about these videos in booktube youtube these videos go into my online diary crooked fingers really my videos are an extension of my paper diary my online diaries there are a reflection of my life as a christian bookworm a book lover and so i'm on page 1075 in my paper diary for the year 2020 I think we have 56 days left in the year and then when January the 1st 2021 comes I'll be on page one <laughs> and I'm still reading for morning worship and devotions I'm still reading uh, Anthony this is a Puritan reprint Christ prayer before his passion expository sermons on John 17 this is a two volume work and uh, I'm on, it says here there is 145 sermons and I am reading this morning Sermon 24. And the text, the, the, John 17, Christ's Prayer Before His Passion, I'm on chapter 17 of John, verse 5. And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Jesus of Nazareth, the Son of God, the Messiah, says, and now prays, and now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was. And so here we have a confession that Jesus confesses that he had the glory, that he was God, that he is God, that he is the Son of God, the second person of the Trinity. 
So yeah, I'm reading John 17, John 17, verse 4, the Sermon 24 by Anthony Burgess. And uh, I, the last, this week, my wife and I, we've been running around doing errands and we always stop at thrift stores. And I, my wife's been buying a lot of used books <laughs> for herself. And, but and I, I'm very selective of what I buy when it comes to used books. I just don't grab anything. And I got a huge stack of used books, but I'm not going to show them all. Because, like I said, I'm just stopping by saying hi. Hope you're all doing well here on a Saturday morning. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I've been reading out of the used books. Well, I did show you that last Sunday... I picked up this book at our retail family-owned bookstore in downtown Holland. I've been reading this, The Price of Peace, Money, Democracy, and the Life of John Maynard Keyes by Zachary D. Carter. So I've been reading this. And then one of the used books we picked up this week, I bought... Oh, I bought it here in town at the Holland Book Mart. It's a little, it's like a young a young woman runs this, it's like a used bookstore, but, but it's like half, it's not really, it's like a used bookstore, but she, the books are very expensive. But it's right next door to Goodwill, and Carol wanted to go in there when we were up there this week, and Carol bought some books and I bought I think I bought a Philip Dick book and I bought this book uh, and this what the, this is by Julian Barnes I collect the writings of Julian Barnes he is a British writer and this is his memoir nothing to be frightened of uh, and so I've been reading this it's kind of like his meditations and reflections on death but it's, it's very good. I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've read his, I collect his writings and I read a couple years ago his novel Flaubert's Parrot. But if I see his books, I buy them. And for example, if I bought this at a thrift store, it might have cost me a dollar. It cost me four dollars for this thing. <laughs> She gave me a discount because it was, she had discounts on non-fiction books that day. So I got but for three eighty or three seventy, but I'm really enjoying this. I also picked up at a thrift store this week this little thing that I I'm not going to write in it. I just wanted it. it. I got this at Goodwill. That's right. Uh, the Book Lover's Journal, my personal reading record. I just like it. I, I'm putting it on my bookshelf just like an ornament. You know, I, I put it up there just to... So, uh, see, it has little things in here. You put the, uh, the book title, author, publisher, a number of pages, fiction, genre, nonfiction, subject, how I discovered or acquired this book, when and where... Read noteworthy experiences while reading this book. Uh, rate on a scale of 1 to 10, quality of writing, pace, plot, plot development, characters, enjoyability, insightfulness, ease of reading, photos, illustrations. Recommend this book to whom? And then it has on this page notes and opinions, basic plot or content, setting, main character's point of view, how this book, book made me feel, or what it made me think, great lines or quotes. I thought this might be an interesting guidelines if I was to do future videos using this kind of uh, format to talk about books. That's one thing I was, uh, I get a lot of comments about books I show books in my videos and people assume that I read them or I have read the whole book. I tend to read by mood. I don't, I, I, I enjoy the activity of reading. Now, 
I'll read Julian Barnes' Nothing to be Frightened of, but I, pop, I might not finish it. But I enjoy, I enjoy reading it. I, I, don't, I don't feel a pressure or necessity to finish a book from cover to cover. I don't feel a necessity as a book collector to read every single book that I bring into this house. Now, you know, I'm reading, I'm really enjoying reading The Price, the Price of Peace, but I'd be surprised if I finish it. I'll read it and maybe I'll put it aside. I don't know. I just enjoy reading and um, uh, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to, to, to say is that what is important when it comes to reading that you read and that you enjoy reading and that you don't just read. Well, I read two, two books this week. Now, my wife, Carol, she'll sit down and she'll read a book from cover to cover. She'll sit down and she'll get a book and she'll read it for a couple of days until she finishes it. And she'll just go right through a book. My wife belongs to two book clubs. And so she has to finish the book before her next book club meeting. But I don't feel bad. And I've always been this kind of reader as far as I can remember. I've always just read. And then I read a book for maybe a week, two weeks. Maybe I'll, read, I'll finish the book. Maybe I'll put the book aside and come back six months later and finish it. I don't know. Another book I picked up used is, I like reference books. I like books about words, dictionaries, reference books. And I picked this up, New York Times Dictionary of Misunderstood, Misused, Mispronounced Words by edited by Lawrence Erd Erdang. I like books like this. I like looking at words. <laughs> I love words. I wish I had a vocabulary. I wish I could pronounce words. I wish I had a grasp of all the different words in a dictionary, but I don't. I have very limited vocabulary. I have a very, I can't spell. I just, it's just terrible. I'm still reading in the old, the Bible. I'm in, I'm still in first Sam, the book, first book of Samuel. I read that and I'm on chapter, I think I'm on chapter uh, I'm on chapter 22 of First Samuel in the Old Testament. So I'll close reading a psalm that I was reading Psalm 114 this morning and thought I'd close with that psalm. I think it was 114, let me see here. It was quoted by Anthony Burgess, and I thought I'd read it. No, it was Psalm 14, I think now. Let me see, Psalm 14. So yeah, today is college football. Tomorrow's professional football. I'm supposed to get books in the mail. <laughs> I keep waiting, but I'll read, I'll close with Psalm 14. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and call not upon the Lord? There, there were they, there, there were they in great fear, for God is in the generation of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice. And Israel should be glad. So it says in verse 2 of Psalm 14, The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek after God. So I hope today that you are seeking after God, that you are seeking after the Lord Jesus Christ, that you know Him, 
and that you are walking with him in communion and fellowship and that you are not that in these dark days of the last days of the American Empire that you are praying that God will have mercy upon us and that he will continue to <laughs> what's the word keep us on the shadow of his wings he is our refuge he is our rock he is our strong tower he is our strength and may he give us patience to wait upon him so once again thank you for the comments the new subscribers and until next time bye